Okay, guys, now list them up, list them up, list them up. Okay, this is the only only strategy now that will make you hands down and you will never be doing any analysis anymore. Oh my God. You understand? You will never be doing any analysis anymore. Okay? If you watch the last video we made, okay? The last video we made and this one we are making now, there's only one difference in them. The last video we made is about Imagine, imagine pattern, okay? That pattern that is imagine, we said that, okay, um, let's go to one example here, that you will never even be waiting for the signal to pop up. <clears throat> that all you will do is you look at the arrow, where is it going? Is it going up? It's going up, okay? Then we said, okay, when you now see that there is a touch of the trend line, of the blue low trend line, okay, that you will pin your order above the candlesticks that came to touch that trend line. And you will put your stop loss on the one of the Fibonacci below the line itself. And you will target two Fibonacci, which is one, two. You will target two Fibonacci as your take profit because the price is actually going there. Now, <clears throat> that was that happens to be the, 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 the last video we did. Now, we're going to now tell you something else. Okay. The last video, you you are not allowed to let the signal pop up. That is, that is it. And there is no need to wait. That is it. Now, this one here. Okay. This one here now is about now. When the signal pop up, how should you handle this type of trade? Now, we tell you. This is gold in front of me. We took one trade while it has never popped up, okay? And this, the trade is still running, okay? And then, while it was generating as imagine, imagine uh, pattern, we got another signal around it. We penned another one. We have it as a pending order. It's not yet active. Now, we got the signal itself. It popped up still same as a buy okay so what we did now what, what are you supposed to be doing in this type of situation when the signal pop up okay when it pop up as a breakout signal that pop up then you not gonna take it immediately you're gonna wait for the next day and find a pullback okay you see this one it's gone and pull back now, because it pulled back to the trend line itself. Now, what are you doing? You pen your buy stop order above the pullback. You see this weeks? This is a rejection weeks. You put your buy stop order above it. Then you make your target TP. You can say, okay, the first Fibonacci. After the pullback. The second Fibonacci after the pullback. This is your TP, okay? And your stop loss is going to be just one Fibonacci around the low line. You see that? Now, you are making your own trade to be two to one, two to one profit levels. And you are going to target like 100 or 200 pips. This is the power of the Forex trendy that we are telling you. You understand okay that is that let us go to another example and analyze uh, another one that has pop up now we see another one like the AUD USD let me click it up the AUD USD let's click it up and see what we got on it now you see the AUD USD it pop up as a signal this is why it is like this it rally up and pull back okay good because you wait for the next day after the breakout. Then you pen your order above the high that rejected. You pen your order here, buy, buy stop order here. Then you count the two Fibonacci after the rejection. One, two. This is your TP. And you say, okay, because you pen your order, you are taking two and risk one. This is where you pen your order above the high. Then you say, okay. 
I put my stop loss on the on the low Fibonacci so that when it activates my order, my stop loss is in place, my take profit is in place. You see, this type of trades will always activate your order in profit. That is another example. Let us go to another one that has been generated. Okay. Let's see the EUR AUD. Let's see EUR AUD. Now look at look at the EUR AUD. The day it pop up as a breakout signal, you see how it pulled back. Even go in, 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 and in. This is why when this uh, pop up happen and you got the signal, you don't take it that day. Don't take it immediately. Wait for the next day. Okay, because the next day you will see exactly what it's doing. And you want to pick the signal exactly when it has pulled back, touching, touching the trend line itself. Then you pen your order above the high that was rejected. Your stop loss on one, one Fibonacci below it. And then your take profit two Fibonacci after it. But in, in my own opinion, I cannot take this type of trade because I cannot count two Fibonacci right here. I can only see one Fibonacci. So I'm not going to risk one to one. I want to risk two. I want to risk, um, risk one to two. Okay. So let us go to another example. This is NZDUSD. Let us click it up. NZDUSD. Let me click it up. NZDUSD. Okay. <clears throat> now it came out. Now you see the NZDUSD happened to be a cell, right? You see the arrow? It's a cell. Now this day, it break out as a cell. Then I say, wait for the next day. Okay. Maybe the next day you see it like... It pulled back, but didn't come to touch the trend line itself. Okay, what you do is you can leave it alone and let it go. There are a lot of signals. Or if you believe you can take it, you can see the rejection where it was rejected. You can still pend your order if your broker allow you. You can pend your sell stop here. Your stop loss to risk one or to risk two. But then, your take profit in this situation, you count two Fibonacci, one, two. This is your take profit. It got there and it pulled back. You see what we say? Let us go to another example. You know, this one is something that will make you hands down, that you don't even need any analysis anymore, that everything, that the Forex trend is doing everything for you. All you need to do is know how to use the Forex trendy itself. This is what I told you. I'm not going to teach you Forex, but I'm going to teach you system. Look at the EUR card. The EUR card got a cell on the arrow. It break out as a cell. Then it went back the next day to touch the trend line. Now, this is a good trade. It went to touch back the trend line. Now, what you do, what you do, you see the rejection, the rejection week. You pen your sell stop order on it, okay? Your sell stop order on it, okay? As you have done that, you can say, okay, because I pen my stop sell order on it, okay? And you say, okay, let my stop loss be, let me just risk like two, two, right? Because there's every possibility that even any pullback will never go and hit two stop loss. It will never go there. You pen your order here. You risk one, two. Just risks two. Then from where you took the trade, where you penned your order, you take one, two, take profit. You see how it got there? Rally back. You see this? Now, one thing I want to tell you for sure is that the forex trend itself will definitely go to where it say it is going. Like you see, all this thing, one point five seven eight or one point fifty two nine six, it will get there. That is why, when you pen your order, count one Fibonacci, two Fibonacci. Let your TP be there. It will get there and reverse. 
Okay, but it will go to where it, it is going in the long, long run. But because you want to build your account, this is why you target one, two, and you, and you leave. By the time in the future your account gets big, you know, when you see the signal, you can take it and target the final Fibonacci, or you can target all the five Fibonacci because your account is big. Okay. But let us use one final example and make it the final one. The reason for all this example is to open your eyes and let you see exactly what's going on. You know, we got gold on this day. Same again as a sell. Let's check it out. Now, you see this day. This day, the gold happened to be a sell. Okay. Gold was a sell this day. Okay. So, how do you sell gold this day? This is a one hour time frame. Say gold is a sell. Okay. It gave you the signal. But you have to wait for the next day. Okay. But the next day, it didn't go to touch the trend line. Forget it. <laughs> Forget it. Let's go. Let's go to the next. Card CHF. Card CHF happens to be on the one hour. It's a buy. But... <clears throat> yeah. Now, it break out and rally and came back the next day to touch the trend line. You pen your own order on the high where it was rejected. And you say, okay, I'm targeting two. One, two. Two Fibonacci after your entry. One, two. Two Fibonacci after your entry. See how it got there? It rallied up and got there and came back down. But remember, your stop loss maybe you risk from your entry just risk something like you know risk two fibonacci does it risk two fibonacci and forget everything let's make the final example the final example here is aud card boom a card now this a card that break out as a sell signal from the arrow it break out yeah, it broke out. But it didn't go, it didn't go to a point where it, you know, it went to touch the trend line. So this type of trade, I will advise you forget it. Okay, because those are the type of things you'll be seeing on the one hour. Okay. If I see the four hour now, I think that one is always very good. But let's see the four hour now, GBPCHF. Four hour GBPCHF. Let's see what we got on it. Now, the four hour now here is telling us it's a buy. And they broke out as a buy, but came back in the next day. Okay. Okay, man, there's no problem. The way we do, just spend your order above the rejection high and get your stop loss to be maybe two Fibonacci after your entry. Then get your TP to Fibonacci after your entry. But for me, when I look at this type of trade that I cannot see, I cannot count two Fibonacci after my entry. I see only one Fibonacci after my pending entry. I forget this type of trade. I don't take it. Let's see another example. The four hour GBP, GBP card. Let me click it and see what is going on. Now the GB card now break out as a buy on the four hour, right? Now, you saw it. The next day, it pulled back to touch the trend line. Now, you see the rejection high. You pen your order above the rejection high. Your stop loss, maybe two Fibonacci after your entry. And then your take profit should be like one, two, two Fibonacci above your entry. And this will go there. Okay, so it's not about, is it going to get there or not? Yes, the Forex trend will get there. But the only problem is, how will it go there based on the, the, the market moving up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down? You see, that is how the market will always move. And that is how the market do go and hit the stop loss of people away. But when you get the idea that, the forex trending will always get to where exactly it's going. Okay, so your stop loss is what you want to try to manage properly. Okay, that okay, I got to manage my stop loss properly. Even if I pay my order above the high, 
I know it will get there. But how it will get there now, we don't know. We don't want to care. But now, our stop loss, we got to manage it properly. So it's all about you managing your stop loss. So I believe you got a lot of knowledge from this video. And thank you very much. And if there's any other thing, again, we will still bring it out to you. Thank you. Thank you.